Hello, Capricorn, and welcome to the tarot room. So, Cappy, grab a seat, get yourself comfortable, and let's talk about you. So, today we're going to do a past, present, future reading. So, we're going to find out what's going on, how you're feeling, how the situation is going to play out. Let's talk about you, Cappy. Spirit guys, what's going on, Capricorn Collective? What do you want to say? What messages do they need to receive today? Community, card number eight, okay? So this is about helping each other, friends helping each other, family helping each other. This is also not doing things alone, not being afraid to ask for help if you need it. So let's see what's going on, because Capricorn sometimes asking for help is not the easiest. We're fairly independent. So what do you want to say about Cappies, please? And thank you. What is this? Past, present, future spirit, guys? What's going on? And Cappies, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. If you want one of those, the link is in the description box below. So we have the Four of Wands in reverse and the Five of Cups in reverse. You have the seven of pentacles in reverse so that's your past whoop it's your past energy here so your present is the sun in reverse can't see that the six of wands in reverse and the ace of swords in reverse some things upside down so far in the near future we have the two of wands we have the three of cups in reverse what else we got here and the queen of swords in reverse bottom of the deck we have the seven of cups in reverse the moon in reverse seven of swords in reverse and the queen of cups we have a lot of reversals <laughs> let's find out why what's going on here okay so seven of cups in reverse is about seeing through something seeing something for what it is so is the moon so so is seven of swords something you found something out here cat let's find out what this is i think you might need support as you found out so some kind of secret's been revealed to you here um it's got you pretty confused. So, holy crap, those are not on camera. How about we get those on camera? My genuine apologies. So let's move those up there. Okay, so let's talk about this. Four of Wands in reverse. What do you want to say about this? Seven of Pentacles and the Fool. And the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So there's some kind of, the Four of Wands in reverse in this deck is about being unbalanced. It's about being out of balance. It's about trying to create a balance um, within yourself, but within your life. So things aren't equal. Um, there's not equal give and take, whether you're giving to other people, not giving enough to yourself. There's just a little bit of things that are not equal. Seven of Pentacles is telling me you're tired and you're exhausted, but you don't want to give up on this. Um, there's a Ten of Swords and the Hermit in reverse, but I do feel like um, you're trying to figure out where to go. What is it that Capricorn found out here? What is the secret or what do you want to say about this? Oh my God, there is it again. The seven of sword. They're putting it behind you. Page of cups in reverse. It made you feel, um, you've healed from this secret. That's the thing. But why is it still here taking over here? So this is a secret. This is something that found out that caused conflict within your life, your home life, your friends, your family. Somebody was sneaky. Um, but you see this person for who they are, Cap. You see them for what happened. You're putting that behind you. And you're not letting them make you feel um, hurt or victimized or sorrowful anymore. That's that. That's done. You know, maybe you are leaning on friends and family to help you get through that. Maybe, you know, you broke up with your partner. You have to move back home. You know, whatever it is. But you are allowing others to provide a shoulder to lean on as you go through this. Um, so in the present, we have the sun in reverse, the ace of swords in reverse, and the six of wands in reverse. So I feel like in the past, you might have been feeling... Um, like it was just a big waste of time. But I feel like in the present, you're understanding the lessons and you're seeing the value, um, sometimes the value in what happened. You know, instead of saying, why did this happen to me? It's why did this happen for me? Well, here's what I'm learning. Um, and you're getting to the bottom of things here. Yeah, look at the Queen of Swords. You're getting to the bottom of things, Kathy. The Three of Pentacles. You're hurting her. There. And there's cooperation. And there's a Six of Wands. So you're putting your attention in the right direction. So you're not giving your attention to this past, whatever that secret was, whoever this person or situation, definitely a person, but whoever was lying and sneaky, whoever hurt you, you're seeing for what it is. You're seeing your lessons. You're moving forward in a good manner. Um, but I feel like right now you're at the position where you're, like I said, looking at things um, and learning from it, not giving your thoughts to why did this happen to me? You're, um, you're learning from it, becoming wiser and moving forward, really. Yeah, the Hierophant. Into a person of influence who into a commitment with somebody. Woo, and the King of Pentacles. So, damn, Cap, like, <laughs> whoa, 
whoa. The King of Pentacles, the Empress, the Hierophant, three major arcanas are in your present energy for where you're heading with the Four of Wands and notice it's down. So you have a lot going on. You have a lot to look forward to. Wh wherever, whatever that was, like if it was, let's say a job where you had an employer who was doing you wrong and you found out someone at a, a lower position was making more, let's just say that. Um, where you go from there is going to be amazing. You're a person, Cap, you're a boss. You're a boss type. You're a person of influence. People look up to you. They respect you. Um, and with the King of Pentacles and the Empress here, whatever that was, where you're going is so much better. So it's better to find that out about those people or that situation and get the F out of there than linger where you don't belong, where you're not appreciated, where your talents and your skills aren't being utilized. So... There's a lot of abundance here <laughs> that you're heading towards. Like, like look at this. Um, if this is a partnership, if it's love, you got love coming through. If this is a business, if this is career, because this is just a general past, present, future, right? Take it how it resonates to your situation. You have abundance. The King of Pentacles and the Empress. I mean, they are, the past is gone. The sun's coming up. They are luxurious. But the thing about both of these entities, characters, people, is they get what they want. They go after it. They work hard. Neither one of them are afraid of hard work. Um, and neither are you, Kat. And you know that is going to be hard work to do this, but you have the juice and the talent to do it. So um, you're not giving your attention to the past. It happened. It is what it is. You just got to learn from that. Watch for the signs. Make sure you recognize it, right? So in the near future, we have the two of wands. We have the three of cups in reverse. And we have the four of swords in reverse. So you're cutting out these obstacles. Nothing's going to stop you from moving forward. You're not going to talk the talk. Oh, you're walking the walk. What do you want to say about the two ones? Okay, so we have, yeah, there's a ten of swords again. So the wheel of fortune in reverse, the nine of cups in reverse, the strength in reverse, and the ten of cups in reverse. So the choice is yours. You can make the choice to move forward in a better manner, put the past behind you, control your thoughts, tame those beasts within, or you don't. And in the near future, that's the path that you're choosing um, and the decision that you're making. I feel like you're cutting out the obstacles here. You're making the choice. Um, you might be, you might have had to be pretty cold, pretty blunt, pretty ice to somebody or some situation. And sometimes you just got to be straight up and just do what you got to do um, and what's best for you. But I feel like you're blocking out all the negative um, obstacles, all of the, you see this for what it is, let's say, right? So you're blocking, see the cups are in reverse. You're blocking that. You see it for what it is. It um, doesn't benefit you to get stuck thinking about it in any way. But I do see you in the near future. It's still there. You're trying to cut it out. But you're still trying to make the choice to, to, um, to move in a different direction. To move forward. To see what's behind that curtain. So you don't know what's behind that curtain. You don't know what future holds, right? You're making a big choice. There's a big change going on here. You're confused as to what's going to happen. But instead of looking at that like a scary thing, look at it like an amazing thing because where you're going, and I just saw the Ten of Pentacles, is going to be great. <laughs> you just have to have faith, right? Sometimes you just get knocked off course to put us in the right direction. But again, and I feel like you're not afraid to ask for help and you are asking for help when it's needed here. Is there anything else you want to say about this for Cap in the near future? Temperance in reverse. Seven of... Okay. You can make the choice to be angry about it and stew over it. Um, or you don't. So it's like you see those, um, you know, you see that thought like someone does something to you and you can let it ruin your whole day or you can just let it ruin 10 minutes of your day and transmute it and move on. And I know it's easy to say, but you have to make that choice. So the seven of cups again is seeing through it, seeing the lesson, seeing this person for what it is, understanding that 99.9% .9 of the time it isn't personal. Someone's got issues and they ain't issues on your, like they have nothing to do with you, but, um, yeah. So they want you um, to walk away, but have a plan. So don't walk away without having a plan. Like we see those people, like if you're quitting your job, you know, like yell in the Walmart, I'm quitting my job and not have a job in place, that kind of thing. Make sure there's, there's a plan here. Your Capricorn, so there should be, but there's just a message of the Knight of Swords in reverse is don't move too quickly. Like if you're leaving a partner and you're leaving a relationship behind, you know, you, you don't tell the person you're leaving until you have like a new place to live or you know what I mean? So just make sure you got plans. Um, for where you're going. Don't act too haste. Don't move too quickly. Um, be strategic about this new path that you're choosing. And if you need to ask for help, then do. 
So, Pap, let's get you a few oracle messages. We'll find out where you are in a month. It looks like you got a lot going on here, but um, you're getting to the bottom of it and you're going to end in a good place, but it just feels like a little bit of like Dorothy in Kansas kind of vibe. What does Capricorn need to surrender to here when it comes to leaving this behind? Hmm, I thought one flipped. I guess one didn't. Oh, there it is. Right? Surrender in healthy relationships. Let go of relationships that do not serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treated by others and surrounded by positive people. People who value you too. Um, you know, there are some healthy people in our workplace environments too, but make sure you're valued and being treated properly. So what is the energy oracle message? What do you want to say to Capricorn here about this? Wow. Anxiety. Rest and rejuvenation and the world. But first of all, let's look at all these nines. Nine, nine, and 18 breaks down to nine. So nine, nine, nine. Crap, I can't remember the angel number of that, but I do believe it means blessings. And I also believe it means a brand new cycle is coming. That's going to be like so much better than the past. It is time to take action. The rest and rejuvenation is in reverse. So let's talk about anxiety. So when we're anxious, we're living in the future. And I did pick that up before. You don't know what the future is going to hold for you. But when you're depressed, you're living in the past. So the point is to live in the present because it's a gift. If you take the right actions in the present, the future will be the way it's meant to be. The future will play out in the best way possible. So you are the, the, you have the world in your hands. The card literally says the world is your oyster. You have all the potential that you want to make happen what you want, but you have to take action and not let the negative thoughts and fears control you. Like I said, you don't know what the future is going to hold cap, but trust that the future is going to hold something amazing for you because you're going to work hard, right? Um, let's get, see what you need to let go of. Forget what already has been <laughs> and wake up to a paradise of your own creation. So be excited about the unknown, right? Get giddy for what could be because you have a lot of potential coming your way. So let's get you your potential outcome. So when I say potential, there's always free will. And when I say outcome, we're talking about a month from now, Cap. Let's see how you're doing in a month. Is this new opportunity here? Are you still kind of transitioning? Are you starting to see the fruits of your labor? Something new come through? What's going on here? Where's Cap in a month? How's Capricorn doing? So we have the Knight of Cups. Can't see that, but I'm going to move this because it's in my way. So we have the Knight of Cups. The Six of Cups. Okay. What else we got here? Woo. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse and Judgment in reverse. Those two came flying together. Okay. Lovers in reverse. And, you know, it's so funny because when the world was here, I was going to say, you're the magician here, but I didn't. And I should have because you're the magician here. The magician is also the most talented character in the deck. That magician has all the talent, all the skills, all the resources to make whatever they want happen. They just got to use their potential. So here in a month from now, the Knight of Cups and the Six of Cups, you're following your path. You're doing what you need to do. You're giving to the right areas. You're putting your energy in the right spots. You're following your heart. And when we follow our heart, we never get led astray. So with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, with judgments in reverse, man, the lovers, first of all, this is three major arcanas in reverse. But I also feel like this is a moment in time of self-reflecting. Um... It may not have been fair what happened. You may not have been treated fairly. But one of the biggest lessons that we have to learn in life is life isn't always fair. And sometimes we get beat when we're down and we got to rise up. We got to rise above it. And that's what you're doing. But you're doing that because you're making the choice. You've looked at yourself and you said, okay, this is why this happened. This is what I can do to change it. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to change my stars. I'm going to change my karma. And I'm going to make that decision because only you can make that decision. So both of all three, this is about making a choice. Um, but these two cards are about self-reflection like this. This is all about you looking at yourself and changing your stars yourself. Only you can do that by changing your thoughts and changing your decisions. And that's exactly what you're doing. And you're following your heart and your true path. So it will be successful. But in a month, I still see you making the transition and moving. I don't really see, you know, the money pouring in or the love pouring in. I just see you working and um, moving forward, which I think is a beautiful thing. We don't heal. We don't move overnight. It never works that way. Um, so Capricorn, that's what I have for you. So I hope it resonated. I hope it benefited. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Just remember the teaching of Lao Tse, right? Live in the present because it's a gift and we must learn from our past and be excited for the future because you are the magician. So Spirit Guides, what's the final message here for Cap to close off the reading? What do you want to say? 
set a meeting with yourself and keep it. Make it a priority. Treat that meeting like you would any other. Set aside 10 minutes a day to write down five values that are important to you. Keep the list in your pocket as you go about your day. So learn to appreciate the little things. Appreciate where you've come, where you are, and where you're going because you're going places, cat. That's what I got for you. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.